Good morning YouTube, it is 7 a.m. in the great state of Texas and all we're doing in today's video is epoxying one of these boxes I made. I don't have the footage of the box because this was kind of a rush job but I made this box a couple of weeks back and I wanted to do something to kind of spruce it up a little bit and I decided what better way than to burn it and put some epoxy on it. It's just throwing epoxy on everything. Really like this box. I made it out of old fence posts and it came out really good. It has a nice tight seal on the top if I can ever figure out how to work the lid. And all we're gonna do is take some epoxy, coat it, take a torch, burn it, and just make it unique-ish. So here we go. As soon as I'm ready, this is uh, now I'm hitting the box. I have no idea why. So here we go. Uh, so we're using East Coast resin on this. All we're going to do is flip it on its side, take a torch, kind of burn it. Uh, that was a really weak burn job there. Okay, maybe a little bit more. By the way, so I did this like two days ago, and it was kind of a rush because I had so much going on. And I did this in my little, obviously in the workshop. And it's like 150 degrees in the workshop. It's just hot. And my concern was I was going to set this box on fire, which I kind of did. There was like a part of it where you could like hear the crackling uh, kind of going so that was kind of concerning so all we're going to do now is take some epoxy we burnt it up a little bit and now we're just coating the outside of it and I could have honestly have done a little bit of better job painting this I did do another box but it was actually much larger than this one and it kind of like broke on me the warping of the wood kind of burst in the clamp so gonna come back and do that one again a little bit later but all we're doing now is just painting on the epoxy and you can see it running down the side of it wish I would have used a foam brush on this one I think I would have got a lot better coating on there because it'll dry here in a little bit and you'll be able to see all the splotching and splotches and spots that I missed I was just wanting to get out of the garage because it was so damn hot in there so it kind of made it not fun to be in the garage but you can already kind of see the box there and it just looks a lot better with the epoxy on it so now we're just taking some uh, blue pigment putting that into the remaining amount of epoxy and then we're gonna add a little bit of glitter to it as well you can see they're pouring in there and I put a little white pigment in there uh, too so now all we're gonna do is coat the top of the epoxy box or coat the top of the box pour that on there and I wanted to kind of leave open some of the wooden spots but I ended up not doing that so here I am trying to get everything leveled so all of it doesn't spill onto one side and just trying to get an even coat so about six hours later this is the end result really love the way the top of the box looks and you can see here there were spots that we missed you can tell there there was a little bit of really missed spots on the side of the box but it looks good. The burning of the box makes it pop a lot more. Once you add the epoxy, that kind of like brings out the grain a little bit. So anyway, short little video today. Sorry I don't have the entire video of the box, but it kind of looks like shit a little bit. So we're going to do this a little bit better, but I haven't been able to work in the garage because of the heat. But I thought this would be a nice little project to show. So don't forget to subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. See you in the next one.